Hines. It's Big Mama. I know it's been a hot minute, but it's been a hot week, let me tell you. It's been a one of them go, go, go weeks, and everywhere you go, 90% of it wasn't good. You know, I'm still, like I said today, it's Thursday, December the 1st. Happy December the 1st. Yesterday, we had to put Miss Foxy down. I was the only one that could do it. I've always been the person, if we had a dog or a cat that needed to be put down, I would take it. And it breaks my heart. I do not, you know, it doesn't not bother me. It does, but I love them so much, I don't want them to be in pain. So, um, I did that yesterday. Bo did not know that I was going to do it. He just agreed that we did need to do it at some time. So I didn't let him know because he was at work and I didn't want him having a, you know, come apart there. Everybody knew where I was going, but I left her here. I knew not to take her. And it was good because I got to spend time with Boxy. Um, they let me have time with her before, and I held her while they did it, and I didn't realize how fast, I mean, it's just like that, and they're gone, and um, she knew I was there, she knew, you know, I, I believe in my heart, she knew that I was there. Anywho, happy December the 1st, if you're new here, thank you for joining, if you like us, hit that like button. Usually we're more full hearted and happy and just, you know, go lucky. But that's still weighing on me. You know, we had her for 16 years. She was 19. And we had her for 16 of those wonderful years. So even Bo said, because he bawled last night. And even he, while he was crying, he said, that was one of our children. We buried one of our children. And I'm like, I know. And that got me crying all over again. So let's. We're going to do it. We're going to make it. Also, on another note, talk about we're going to do it. Um, I had just been slipping backwards as far as my doing, my mental. I could feel myself. I mean, yesterday when I pulled into the carport, I had a panic attack. Wondering where I left Carol Beth. I'm like, where did I leave her? Oh my gosh, who's got her? Did I drop her off somewhere? Did I leave her with Linda Faye, a good friend of ours? Or share? And then it hit me. You didn't take her. And so that frightened me. That scared me more than anything. Um, and I was already upset. And maybe that's why I did it. I was already upset. Uh oh, y'all don't want to stay in play. <laughs> oh, they're sliding now. Um, but yeah, I, I, somebody asked me if that's because I was grieving, you know, I, I just wasn't thinking, and, and that could have been part of it, but even like today, I've caught myself doing the weirdest, goofiest things, or scary things, you know, just, just crazy stuff. So I'm not going to be taking my gabapentin anymore. I could tell a difference. When I was on it, it did help my muscles and my contractions. You know, how my muscles would do that. It did help with that. But it had me crazy as the best book. Now with me being the only adult, they said out of, out of Carol Beth and <laughs> Batman. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I need to be in full capacity. I can remember I used to be on the ball. I was never late for anything. Now I am. I always had my act together. You needed something, I could pull into a file and find it like that. Medication list, I had it. I was ready to go. I even had a laminated one. Yeah, you can say that. Any, any of you, I couldn't find the forms that I filled out months ago like a little novel. And now that they bought my appointment sooner, I can't find those, that paperwork. 
So she gave me some new paperwork. Lord of mercy, I gotta find where I put that. Anywho, tonight finds us. We were supposed to have had um, ABC vegetable hamburger soup or hamburger vegetable ABC soup. However you want to say. Um, I went to Cash Saver after my appointment today about the pulmonologist wanted me to go to the uh, uh, it's like a it's like a gym but they watch your breathing um, I had to do six laps and they timed me and they had a machine hooked to me that would check my heart rate and it checked my O2 sats and I, I was doing great till that last lap and then this 97 oxygen sat drops down to 84 <laughs> She's like, don't you need to sit down? I'm like, no, I'm going to finish. So, that's how, <clears throat> that's how that went. Anywho, so I went to the pulmonary. It's here in Montgomery. Praise the Lord, because they want to see me three times a week. So, but it's just to ensure that I will get an hour of movable exercise. And it's going to be long. They've got a machine that actually exercises this part of you to increase the lung, where the lung won't be crumpled up. You're going to have more room for it. As wide as I am, you look, think that they couldn't go no further. I'm just saying. Anyhow, tonight for supper. Bo told me, he said, you can tell that either you are Italian, like a lot of Italian, or Jewish. And I went, what? He said, because you're always doing this. Just a run in that man. I'm like, would you thank you? So, <laughs> anywho, vegetable soup, stay with me. When I went in Cash Saver, I noticed Land Help Us. Now, y'all know we don't have a freezer. Just the freezer at the bottom of this refrigerator. This is our cross. This was our new purchase. Happy anniversary. Happy birthday. Merry Christmas for the next five years. <laughs> Okay, but down here, this is the only freezer space we have. I know, so, oh my gosh. Um, it's just a mixture. I just flung everything in there. This, the same thing. There's our ribs. All that's camp stew. But under here, I'm not going to undo my kettle too much. Because I might not be able to get it to go back. You see this? You see this cardboard box under there? Honey, let me tell you. That is a 15-pound box of catfish nuggets that were $12.99. Do you hear me? $12.99 for catfish nuggets. Now, I'm not going to ask if anything happened to it in transit or on the way there. Do y'all ever question that? I do because I've seen a TV show about it about like rat trucks and then they'll have somebody come along get another box truck come along anything that is salvageable guess what they put on that box truck and they take it to the store wherever that truck was headed they take it there I kid you not it was on um, animal uh, animal Lord have mercy. It was on Alaskan Road Rescues. Or Alaskan Truck re Rescues. Something like that that Bo Roten got me into. I'm just saying. But yeah, they would send a box truck and they would get anything that was salvageable. Like if it didn't get squared. Okay, say so if it was this. And this looks pretty good. It's nothing. It's not messed up. It's not out of date. Guess what? Going on that box truck. <laughs> Seriously, that's what they do. Anywho, I don't think that was the situation. We're going to... Look, I noticed the other night. Watch what I can do. I can't do it tonight. I can't do it under pressure. 
That one I can do. We've noticed my hands have not been flaring up. Yeah, see, I'm fluid today. Yesterday and the day before, my ring just kept spinning around. And Bo's like, when did I start doing that? And I'm like, a couple of days ago. Anywho, procrastination. I ran into the cash saver, did not know about the catfish nuggets. I, I picked up the paper at the door, and then there they met me in a little freezer thing in the middle of the aisle. There they were, hanging out, waiting on me to find them. Yeah, I love me some catfish. Oh my gosh, you give me that and some hush puppies, I'll be quiet. I will be quiet because I'm eating. Anywho, tonight, plans changed. <laughs> How many times am I going to say that? I need somebody to direct to me so they can... <laughs> um, I'm looking for what I was looking for. What was, oh, my pork chops. Anywho, pork chops were a dollar thirty-seven a pound. So I got one pack and I couldn't get it in the freezer, you know what I'm saying? It just wasn't going. Yeah, it just wasn't going in a freezer. And that's okay. I've got some other things that I've got in that fridge and yonder. So I changed my menu for the week. I had to put saran wrap around it because I tore it trying to get it to fit in the freezer. And it wouldn't. Okay, do you see this price? Five dollars and thirty cents. There are six large pork chops. Do you see how big that is in this package? Because oh, it's dollar thirty-nine. Did I say? Is that what I said? Might be. Anywho, I am gonna do. It looks like there's six. Oh wait, no, there are more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And another one might be tucked up underneath there. So I'm a good golden seven for $5.30. Say so what? Anyhow, I took my ham flavored concentrate. Remember how you got like chicken bouillon, the little cubes, beef bouillon, the little cubes. This is, and I learned it from, and I'm going to give you a shout out. I haven't talked to her in a, a heartbeat. Linda from Linda's Kitchen. Did I say that right? We're going to cross or have crossed that finger and pray that I did. Linda, how are you doing, hon? She is wonderful about a lot of preparedness, kitchen preparedness, and she has some great ideas. I've been following her for a while, and I've been doing some of her ideas. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Anywho, it's ham flavored. I didn't have any bacon grease. I didn't think about getting any um, like salt pork or hog jowl or anything like that. Hog jowl is exactly what you think it is, I think. Isn't it? Or is it the knee, the elbow? I can't remember. Somebody tell me what a hog jowl is. Anywho, I'm doing these green beans because I had to throw them out of the freezer to get that box in there, you know what I'm saying? So that dictated our supper tonight. <laughs> what I had to yank out of the freezer to get that box in there. Yeah, baby. Alright, so I'm going to do the baby llama beans. Not all of them. Carol Beth doesn't need them. So for her and Fat Man, and I'm shocked I didn't have any au gratin potatoes. Like none. I have potato flakes. I guess I could make that and put sour cream and cheese on top of it. Make sure. Hmm. But these need to, well, they're good until January the 13th, 2023. So it's coming around the corner. I figured this would make Carol Beth happy because she won't eat green beans. I, the lima beans. She'll eat green beans. That's why we bought another case. Um, I'm debating on that what to do. That was my tea that finished. I'm working on boiling my water. I threw that ham seasoning in this water for my lima beans. Um, I'm just going to let my tea set. Uh, I shall want a glass though. 
I can't decide how to do these pork chops. I think I only want to make four of them. If that will leave three, I think it will. I'm looking at the package. Y'all tell me. I guess we're going to open it up and find out anyway. But it looks like four here and three here. These three I might leave for another night. I don't know. Like I said, the only reason why I'm doing it, I ripped that saran part. And I think they need to put better. They only use one thing of plastic. You know? So let's get ready to... That water hadn't even thought about boiling. Because I'm here and here with it. I pray y'all's day has been better than my... Well, today went good. Um, like I said, I had to go to the pulmonary clinic where I will go. and go three times a week. And I told them it'd probably be best doing Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. I need my Wednesdays free. And I need my Fridays free. I always told Carol Beth, sometimes I get goofed up. I'm looking for a specific pan. My Curtis Stone pan. Yes, ma'am. I don't know where the other one is. This is it's spraying. So, we're going to move that. Honey, I love this pan. And I'm trying to remember. Oh, heaven's mercy. Help me remember, remember who gave me this. I know it's a Curtis Stone pan because I've got the instructions on how to take care of it taped to my kitchen cabinet. Ask me if I followed those instructions. Does it look like I followed in those instructions? I should have followed those instructions. Anyway, we're going to clean this. I've got to show y'all my house real quick. Well, at least the kitchen. Do you notice anything? Just take a good gander and a look. Look behind things. Look around things. Do you notice? Don't look at that pan. Do you notice? A sweet, sweet Selbrook sister of mine came yesterday. Yeah, yeah. It was yesterday because she was telling me about where to take Foxy. Anywho, it was yesterday. She came and blessed me by cleaning parts of our house. She got to the kitchen and the bathrooms. And we have it indoor cat. Y'all have seen too. Um, and she is allergic to it, cats. So, she couldn't stay too long. But bless her heart. I, felt, I kept telling her, you can go. You do not have to worry about or do this for me. You just do not. And uh, she said, no, I want to do it as a blessing to you. And I'm like, well, you're doing it where you're going to wind up in the emergency room because you're choking. So she finally agreed and went on home. And then she said, well, she hoped, I think by Christmas or something, she would come and do the floors. But I'm hoping to have another game plan before then. I, well, maybe after my exercises, and I do them three days a week with them, because they're going to walk me through all of it. So, and I thought about asking them if I can take Miss Lucy Goosey back there. You know, if I'm going to be walking on a treadmill, and they've got a free treadmill, could baby girl walk on that treadmill. You know what I mean? So, um, it'll be for 36 hours or 36 sessions, which I think she said, well, it depends on what I'm doing, considers, it could be 20 minutes, it could be, you know, an hour, it just depends. Alright, I'm getting lost in the woods now, because i got more than one thing going in my head. Alright, our water is beginning to boil, and before I put macaroni and cheese in there, I'm going to make sure and get my lima beans and throw in there. And these are just simple frozen. I don't know if y'all have, you know, just fresh lima beans that have been frozen, but we always just take the baking grease. I think I've talked to y'all about that before. I'm only going to do a little bit, because like I said, it's only me and that one that will eat them. 
Because I do believe, I don't know though, if I got a good hankering for them, that will not be enough. Oh, there's a stem. So you do, whoa. That was hot, kids. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, I am going to throw a little bit more in there. Okay, that was more than a little. That would be both shit. <laughs> oh my goodness. And y'all talking about y'all would love to come and have supper with us. Honey, you are welcome at our home anytime. Anytime. Uh, that matter my mood. Uh, yeah, hospitality is my middle lane. Or it used to be. Now that's another thing. I told Bo, you know, when I was talking about my changes. I am going to quit taking that medicine, though. Yeah. I sure am. I want to feel more like me. I used to be on the ball. I used to invite people over. Hospitality. I used to would bake little goodies and take to Miss Mel up the street. Um, you know, things like that. If I heard about somebody on the block that was sick, guess what? You're getting chicken noodle soup. I don't care if you throw it in the garbage can when I turn around and leave. At least I gave it to you. But now I've gotten to where if I do that, I give them canned soup. That just feels wrong to me, though. You know, there's no there's no love with that. You know what I mean? Anywho, pork chops. I think I figured out, because I'm going to need the other eye for the mac and cheese. I think I figured out... Is that still playing? No. Um, I'm just going to do them. And I hate myself for not picking up that shake and bake kit. They had one. And I was going to pick it up. I didn't pick it up. You know what I could do? Does flour work on them in the oven, though? I don't think so. Panko breadcrumbs do. What ba ba I think if I put seasoning, y'all hear me out. I think if I put seasoning into panko breadcrumbs and then dip those, even if it's just in water, like milk or something, and then do in the panko, we might have homemade chicken bake. We're going to try it and see. Going to try it and see, girl. All right, let me go get some seasonings. For it, <clears throat> I think I'm going to go with soul food season. Oh, here it is right here. Y'all, I have been putting this in more stuff than I can count. But whatever you put it in, it's the best you ever had. <laughs> it's like that cornbread. I sprinkled some of that in my dress. Well, in my dressing. My dressing turned out better than any I've ever had. I put some of that on top of my cornbread instead of pepper. Because poor Carol Beth, I inundated. I did. I put way too much pepper. I forgot what even what was in now though. But I put too much pepper in it. And even I could hardly eat it. <clears throat> I did have a way high in my calder. Because she was getting worried. She didn't know I was gonna be gone that long. And I didn't plan on stopping like that in the uh what a dub. Cash bargains. Ooh, mercy. But, um, I did. Oh, I got some good deals on some cereals, too. I'm going to show y'all that toward the Once I get everything kind of going. I was getting ice in my cup. The last remnants of last night's, too. Yeah, I'm desperate. It is what it is. Here's to you, kids. Not bad with a good bit of ice. <laughs> Alright. I'm just going to let my butter beans. We call them butter beans. Y'all call them. What did the bag say? Light green beans? No. Nah. Them bub beans. Bub beans right there. So, let's get our pork chops. Like I said, I think I'm going to be able to get by with just these four. I'm going to move the macaroni and cheese out of the way. I'm going to move y'all to right there. I think y'all can hang out right there. 
another sip. All right, I'm going to take my butter bean spoon. We're going to put it on the towel. All right, I'm going to lower y'all down because that way y'all can see what I'm doing with my crazy mind. Um, oh, I forgot to get Hanko breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. I just realized I do have some more fried onions. You know, the can, like you do your green beans in. Has anybody found another use for it? I mean, it's great on green bean casserole. And I love green bean casserole. But let me tell you, I'm tired of green bean casserole. <laughs> I love it dearly. Oh, here's my one. Love it dearly. But I'm, yeah, no. Don't put it in front of me for another, I don't know, maybe two, three weeks. Because it was just everywhere we went, every meal we had, green bean casserole. Leftovers, green bean casserole. Three days later, don't you like green bean casserole? <laughs> no, not really at this point. I do not like it. Alright, let me get to my... I think I'm going to do it in the freezer bag. Oh, goodness. I've got it in my head. I'm going to do it like shake and bake. So you, they put all their crap in a bag, right? So let's do the same thing. I don't know how much. And y'all, if you ever do breadcrumbs, go for the panko. It's like the cr extra crusty ones. They're a little bit bigger. They aren't as fine ground. See, that's not fine ground like normal breadcrumbs. These, the texture is better or have a better crunch. And these are really good meatloaf. Um, I like them on fried stuff, like fried pork chops. You can't do no better than panko, girl. Ooh, this is what I use on my chicken breast for chicken parmesan. Yes, ma'am. That'll light up your world. Okay. Oh, I thought it had a, it did. Somehow or another, it got snapped off. Well, that's not good. I got ready to just pour. I'm glad I didn't. Look at there. Oh, I got it. I just squeezed. If you ever have it done, just squeeze and pull it up. There you go. Because I show, I almost was going to open it and just start dumping. That would have been an epic fail, huh? So I'm going to go about like that. That's the only problem. You can't see it too good. Oh, it, it's kind of orangey. Now, I do not rinse my beef off. I'll rinse my chicken off. Always, always, always rinse your pork off. Because when the butcher cuts it, they're just cutting it and laying it on here. And if you look, oh, there's a good example if you really look, I'm going to kind of get y'all in there to it. See all that white right there? Watch how it will come up. That is beef tallow. Oh, well, pork tallow in this case. It has actually come off the bone or come off the fat and it's leaving it on the meat. You do not want it on that meat. It will leave like a gristle taste. If you've ever like been out and had a pork chop or been to someone's house and you get like this gritty feeling, that's what it is. It's where they didn't, look at that one. See all that? All that's going to be rinsed. Oh, look at that side. All that's going to be rinsed off. So rinse. Make sure to rinse. Your pork chops. So I'm going to rinse these off and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm not through rinsing them yet, but I came across a, a, like a situation or something I thought y'all might need to know or like to know. Um, I started pulling my pork chops and the first three are really good cuts. Isn't that weird how they know to put those on top? Once it got to one up underneath, notice the fat strip. 
it's getting a little bit thicker, isn't it? I mean, that one's got a little bit. And a little bit of that's going to give you some flavor. You want a little bit of that. That's a good bit. Now, look at these. Remember I said I would have three left over, and I could freeze them and do them another night. Look how thick that is. Look at that one. It's almost the majority fat. Well, you got good meat. Good meat, like right there. Oh, yeah, that one's very tallowy. See all that? In fact, I might let y'all watch me rinse this one. And then this one, to me, would be more of a pork steak. But who am I to know? So, I'm going to let y'all watch me. See it? Am I seeing all that stuff in there? Yeah. So, let's set y'all up. Da, 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 da. No, I do not have a professional cameraman. I do not claim to be one. Okay. <laughs> Alright. See all this? I'm going to try to get you in. Okay. Oh, no, too far. Or not far enough. Too far. Alright, I need a better. There. Nope. What do I need to do? He needs to go to that. Where are y'all? Okay. Oh, okay. I don't need to be that. What am I doing? Screwing up. That's what I'm doing. We're just going to go with it. Yeah, no, y'all can't see it. See all that white watch? Did you see it run off? And you're just going to take your hand. I'm going to do it kind of like that. That way maybe I can see what y'all are seeing. Y'all are in my sink. Welcome to my home. Alright, see I'm just, he might have to kind of help it along. Help it along. And you do want to do this, especially like with your beef steak. Anything that has been cut with like a saw. And believe it or not, they cut this with a meat saw. I have seen pork being cut. I've seen beef being cut. Yeah. I've even seen how to kill a cow. I don't want to go into that discussion. Um, let's just say on my scale, I think it's too many. It goes quick. Don't let them tell you that, oh, the agonized sprout. No, they didn't. No, they did not. Happened so fast, they didn't even know it. I always make sure to use cold water. I trim the fat. I just, see, doesn't this look more like a pork chop you buy at the store? That's why these were cheap. They just didn't trim them like, you know, a pork chop. They left that. I'm going to cut this off and that other one on. See, all that? When you buy pork chops at the store, it looks more like that. Right? They're really taking their time and cutting that fat off. Whereas for a dollar thirty-nine, you get the non-cut kind. And this must be going into it. No, it's just a good fat piece. But look at that, those scissors. These you can get like in the kitchen area. Even Dollar Tree sells them. I think ours came with a knife set. That's the only part we got left. And they will literally cut through. Well, they've cut through chicken bone. I know they have whenever we process chicken. That was down at the farm. And I always process chickens outside. Don't take it inside because it's 90 degrees plus 100. Okay. I don't know what all that is. Maybe what's where the box truck had the... <laughs> I don't know if I should eat that one. What do y'all think? Have y'all ever had red? Look at that. I've never... I've never seen that in my port before. 
see? It almost looks like tracks left of a drug dealer, doesn't it? Hey, I've seen Law and Order. Don't think I know by personal, personal experience. <laughs> As Carol Beth would say, I've seen Law and Order. I know how it works. Y'all, she is still so upset. And she will be for probably another few weeks. Even whenever she thinks about Foxy, she's going to... And I even told Fat Man, I think... Let me put y'all back up here. I've got a red holding y'all. Let's see. I'm trying to get y'all up, and I've still got pork chop, pork chop on my hand. Okay. Hello. Okay. Did y'all have a good swim in my sink? It was very clean. Miss Anita cleaned it excellent. Um. She was so sweet by coming over and doing the things that I just cannot tackle no more. She hit the high points, kitchen and bathrooms, and for that, I am grateful. Okay, let's move on. I got rid of all that bang, that, that fat. I don't know if you can see that one. That's just fat. We don't want that. We don't want that thing. Okay, I turned this down too much, I think. Alright, so I am just going to go ahead and make them all. So, um, we can have leftovers. Somebody tomorrow night can have something. Tomorrow night's supposed to be our pizza night. But, um, oh, what was I going to do since we're trying to clean out leftovers? Not leftovers, since we're trying to clean out freezer space. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to go through that freezer. I'm going to have to go through that freezer and the freezer above the refrigerator in the dining room. Yeah, both of them need to be gone through. So, but I'm just doing my own homemade chicken bake. I put my paint bread breadcrumbs and my salt seasoning. And we're just shaking and baking. Yeah. They said you got to do it our way. We can do it our way. Right? There are no rules. I'm taking off a shirt. There's one rule. I'm going crazy in here, fat man. Lord have mercy. You don't want to know what I did today. You did something wrong. Oh, yeah. It even scared me. Come here and I'll tell you. Because I know if you're on that phone, you ain't going to listen. He's like a teenager, yes. He'll get on that box, and he won't hear a word you're saying. And he'll go, uh-huh, uh-huh. Fat man here. With all his fatness. Amen. Anywho, today, after I got back home, I just pulled up in the driveway. And it hit me, and I panicked. I had a true panic attack. Because I really thought I'd screwed up. I mean, it was real. It was real, big girl. It was real. What was it, big girl? I was wondering where I left Carol Beth. I mean, I panicked. I'm like, did I leave her with Linda Faye? Oh, my God, did I leave her at the facility in the waiting area? I mean, I am having a full-blown Jesus come to meet and come apart. Y'all, she just had to wait a minute till she got in the house. I bet Carol Beth met her. Well, no, I didn't even have to wait that long. It occurred to me as I was pulling on the carport. I'm like, oh, yeah. But I noticed, and I promised, um, I'm going to, I don't really need to slow down. I'm, I'm already slow. Mm. We know that. Um, but the girl did tell me I needed to take breaks in between. Breaks, yeah, I need to take breaks. But I'm going to get back off that Gabba Penton. She said it'll screw your mind up in a heartbeat. And what's his name once you own it? Yes. When I took it, remember I was crazy? Yeah. And then when I had my sane moments, mm -hmm. I was off of it. And now that I'm back on it, I'm forgetting my child. <laughs> All kinds of Betty Crocker trailer park tornado hitting kind of twisted. Crazy folks. All the people that got hit by the tornado the other night, I was not making fun. In fact, I'm so sorry. Yes, she is. 
I am. You know, she would more give you help. Oh yeah, I'd be there to help you in a heartbeat. Where was it? With Tumpka area. I am. Yeah. They're a name for them. Yeah. Anyhow. All right, that one, you're in my way. I'm making homemade shake and bake pork chops. Look at this one. Well, that is I had to cut the fat off of. Yeah. But uh, I got them at the cash saver for $1.39 a pound. I called Kathy and told her about that and the catfish. And she's like, well, I want that catfish, but I ain't got no room in my freezer. I'm like, girl, you take out all them hamburg buns and all that old stuff. You take all that out and make room for that catfish. Yeah, I guess I could. <laughs> take and put them in. Hey, there you go. Take and put them in little Ziploc bags. Like however many you would fix it a fixing. And then you can squeeze those fat, you know, those Ziploc bags much better into that freezer than that big old box. Yeah, you know, they can get down into the nooks and crannies of it all. Yeah. I know something about putting something in some nooks and crannies. I shouldn't have. I'm so sorry. I just thought about what that sounded like. Now you might have to come take over. <laughs> I think I had my full bun come apart. I'm in here talking about I know what to put into a nooks and cranny. This is a family program. I know. It's like, this is a family program. I know it. That's why I need you to come get me out of trouble. You always said you'd come bail me out. One hour is the time. <laughs> Anywho, that's how our pork chops are shaping up to be. You know what? I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get them all on in one pan. I'm going to, the little bit of panko that was left, I'm just kind of pressing into this last one because it, like it didn't want to go. All right, we're going to make room on this pan. We're going to scrunch him up. Push him over, get him up, and he's going to fit there. And I think that's going to be too many on me. I want it about like that. Okay. All right. I'm going to put him in the oven for about 35 minutes. It's on 425. So 425 for about 30 minutes. And it's going to turn red and says record. Okay. Fat man here. This is a totally mess. <laughs> she had, had, she's been saying things she ain't said in 10 years. My goodness. It's scaring the fat man. It's scaring me. <laughs> oh, my. And I'm the one saying it. We might need some help over here. Like I said, y'all are invited to come to supper. Hey, hon, how you doing? Guys, I'm telling you, I, I, I don't know what to say about that. I got the laughing in a good wit. She's been cutting up all night. I've been, oh, I've my. been asleep half the day. <laughs> She's been quiet all day? Yeah, I've been. No, I haven't. I've been cutting up. I haven't. But this afternoon, I've been asleep. But up. in my sleep, I was cutting up. She been cutting up, y'all. Yeah. In my sleep, that was a one little part of the dream. I like, remember. like I said, she said things she ain't said in five years. I said I need to get up off my butt. But, but Make that, myself. Yeah, it was something else you said. Make too. myself behave. Get with the program. Get my act together. What was it? Talking about I'd never done my husband that way before. <laughs> Yeah. Then told me I need to have my way with her. I didn't say that. I know I this is a family that. program. I never said that. I you never did. said that. I never said those words. I said I told the lady at physical therapy I've never done that with my husband before. She wanted me to roll. <laughs> Let I, her couldn't, roll I couldn't roll with my tube, you know what I'm saying? 
No. But I never said I wanted to have my way with you. I said, what was it I said? Darn it, we should have the camera going. But I didn't no. say those words. You thought, you want me to say that. You want me. You're, you're saying what you wanted to hear. I need some help. Yeah. Help, ladies. Do I, men not do that? They say what they want you to. What they, they say. Anyway, I never said that. <laughs> I did say that I answered her question. The lady at the thing today at the rehab to see like how much I need to do on a treadmill or anything like that. All in all, we just couldn't. I oh, yeah. Oh yeah. But yeah, to the lady that asked the question of how out of breath am I after loving on fat man? Zero was not out of breath. Five was I'm dead on the floor. Did she ever ask you the question, uh like walking upstairs. Yes. Yes. And I don't think I could accomplish walking up like a full, full fledged flight of stairs. I'd have to stop halfway in between. Even at the library, me and Carol Beth just stood on them steps. I couldn't go no further. I had to wait. Caught my breath, moved on. Because the, <laughs> the alligator. We got alligators. That escalator. <laughs> you said alligators. Well, that's, it came out wrong. That alligator was moving slow and I was scared to get on it. Bye, guys. <laughs> he needs to be making up just macaroni and cheese. I'm just saying. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> okay. Help us. Help <laughs> us. I've been hanging around this too long. He has. He thought he had done poured up the tea. He's like, I've done poured it up, and I'm sitting here looking at it in the pour. I'm like, no, you haven't. So, Carol Best, the only adult in charge. Oh, dear God. <laughs> hey, you know how she had looked at, uh, oh, what do you call it? Oh, when we went to... Um, Bass Pro Shops the other week. You know what she I was looking fun. at? Yeah, he did have fun. You know what she was looking at? Fishing poles? No. That bed girl was. <laughs> now, Becca loves to fish. But she's like you. She can't ever catch anything. Anywho, a Bass Pro Shop. Carol Beth was actually looking at Elf on the Shelf. I've always asked her every year, would you like to help on the shelf? Her answer has always been, no, I'm good. She's, uh-oh, we're girl. dancing. Big girl, you're going to have to step to the side. <laughs> this mess. Y'all, this is a mess. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing if I'm qualified for Wesley still. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, that we should make up a story of that town and where we met. Hey. Hey. Oh, no, that would be awful. This is a family program. I know. It's a family program. I need to behave. I need to behave. Get that cooking. Macaroni and cheese. Step one, you open the box. <laughs> Step two, you pour it in bowl and water. And step three, you call the fire department because you forgot and left it on. Hey, Miss Kathy. Yeah, hey, Miss Kathy. Um, I called Kathy earlier from Mama Cat's home. Hey, girl. She just didn't sound quite like herself, and I'm, I'm not quite like myself. You need to come hang out with all this craziness. You do. We're going to... um. We'll give you a good laugh. We're not going to be here Saturday afternoon, actually. Oh, I better not say that. Them burglars will come by. Cause I, well, they ain't not going to be home. <laughs> the rest of y'all protect our house. Anywho. Uh-oh. My phone's ringing somewhere. My phone's right there. Hello? Uh-oh. I can do this. Hello? Hello? 
I'm doing good. We had her hang up. Hi, I'm Alicia with Medicare Benefits. Do I look like I'm on now for Medicare? Nobody answer that. <laughs> the gray hair will fool you. I'm only 55. Don't you have to be like 62 to get Medicare? How old do you have to be to get Medicare? 65. Oh, 65. I got 10 more years. <sighs> okay. I'm going to go settle down somewhere. <laughs> I'll be back. Alright. Here I am. There's Fat Man. And there's cute Carol Beth. Carol Beth, can you tell me hi? I did. Oh, there you go. She did. Anywho, here is Don't They Look Good. This is my homemade shake and bake. I will leave kind of about the instructions down below. I mean, it was super simple. So, Kraft macaroni, not Kraft, excuse me, great value macaroni and cheese out of the box. Carol Best excited about that. And our butter beans, I'm excited about. Those look good. And then brown and silver rolls. Do you like it? Do you, does it look good? Yeah. Yeah. She's excited. Tell them what we're going to do tomorrow. Get me a haircut. Get her a haircut. It is time. Hey, Fat Man. Hey. You need to take off and go galley venting with us tomorrow. No. What do you mean, no? no. I may, me and Carol Beth have done put down the rule. What does he have to hurry up and do, Carol Beth? Get Christmas stuff out. Do you heard it from the boss yourself? Get Christmas stuff out. Y'all hear that? I'm being in trouble for don't. Yeah, she will get him. She noticed that our neighbors, our sweet, sweet neighbors across the street from us. I hope you can see. Can you see how pretty? I could step out here. Oh, it feels good out here. I was getting hot in my kitchen. But they've got their reindeer and the Santa. Isn't that cute? So they're all decked out for Christmas. We have nothing. We don't have a wreath up. We don't get back, dude. Tate's trying to get out. What? Big girl's a little hyper. I'm a little hyper. I did. My therapist, what was it, yesterday I went care with? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. I don't know. Anywho, the day I went and see that therapist, he wanted to know, has anybody ever told you you need to be tested for ADHD? Right. And I'm like, usually I am on the ball. I am on, spot on. And it's that medicine. So we ain't going to take no more of that mess no more, Mama. I'm just saying. So we're going to eat. So be good be sweet don't start now there won't be none share play nice with others give a smile and a kind word because you don't know what it might mean to that person seriously it might make their day or even their week they might be at their lowest point and if you smile and say hey hon you would be shocked at what that can do so until then bye hon <laughs>